Hey, this is Barracuda Buzz. And unfortunately, I couldn't get you the video on installation of the heater box as it went a little bit too fast and too slow, but too difficult to tape as well in doing it. I'm gonna go over how I done it. So at least you get an idea on how to do a heater box on any vehicle really, but specifically the 73 Barracuda or E-Body Challenger or even any Mopar at that, basically. So come on and I will show you how I done it too. And this time, I didn't fuck up! Alright, well, hopefully there's enough uh, lighting in here for you guys, but I want to show you something here, and that is this stuff. That black is insulation padding. That is the deadener, sound deadener padding. This stuff up in here with the whole cut, blah, 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 you, you know, whatever. That's, that's it. So, there specifically was deadener up on top, and on the firewall, there was the firewall padding as well. And it was pushed on with clips. So, the first step is, put the firewall padding on, or firewall insulation on, push the clips through, and just make sure that when you're pushing them through that uh, a little trick is to use a pair of pliers, go on the opposite side where you're pushing through and pull that end of that tip through with a pair of pliers and just wiggle it around a little bit. That'll actually pull it in, but just be careful you don't pull it too hard, far, so it doesn't like indent as uh, one of these did. But uh, that actually helps better. If you push them, they'll bend or they'll, you know, like, th th you'll have a hard time. You'll know what I'm talking about if you've ever done one or if you're doing one right now and you're stuck. Go on the opposite side, use a pair of pliers and pull that bitch right through. And uh, you'll see that that will do the job. Once this insulation, firewall insulation is done, you will spray adhesive on this upper padding and also on this upper, whole upper section here above this heater box and behind this uh, defroster. And you'll spray it nice and heavy, you'll let it set up, then you'll put the padding on and make sure that it's on tight, everything else. And you can see how the padding, we stayed away from these because that seal there seals this right there. That seals this uh, box, heater box, onto your thing. So your, your padding, you stay behind it. Don't worry if it covers up a little bit and stuff like that. It, it'll push. It's just sealing so your air is coming through. It ain't escaping out there. But you can see how the padding is pre-cut. Pretty, pretty close, not exact, but it's on there. It'll make a difference on here, and you'll see that the firewall, actually insulation pins um, are in, and they're nice, and it's not too tight, but, and they end there, and then you have the other one that's there. But you will not put this insulation pad in on this side. You have to wait and I'll tell you what needs to be done from there. We installed this defroster uh, box or, or, or venting um, and installed that with black screws because you're, it'll show a little bit on your cutouts on your dashboard sometimes. And So go with black screws, paint the heads or whatever, you know, dabble them uh, with some paint or whatever, just so it matches, it looks better. It's OEM anyways. This is all done OEM. You can see the number uh, cleaned up, the number was restamped on there, everything. Okay, so uh, big praise uh, goes out there uh, to uh, uh, my friend Mike that uh, had rebuilt this for me and uh, Help me install this. Without, without that help, uh, I, I would have never done this myself. So, and this is why I'm trying to show you this. And I uh, wish I would have been able to film it, but it was uh, it was going a little bit uh, quick here when you got help helping you. So you got some wires back here, and of course, this wire first uh, goes on the inside and everything to the motor. That gets clipped in, but all the wires, all the cables, you notice, are not in yet. Uh, these are the cable clips, or the end clips for the doors. So you can see where the cables go 
uh, like right there even, uh, right there on the door. That stuff all waits until that dashboard is in because all that dashboard does is, is uh, ends up, uh, you know, going through and even there in the back. Well, you can see that actually this is refurbished and it was cleaned up the way it was original stock. This is just a regular cup holder and works fine for put it, pushing this in and out. When this was installed, this cover was on and it's left on so you don't scratch that. That's where we come with the next step was installing this box. You need two guys, one on the inside, holding it and feeding it through and making sure that the heater core water outlets are centered and coming through along with the uh, three studs that come out and the motor that is pulled out and centered to the hole. This is pulled out, the guy inside is holding the box, pushing that against the box, pushing that against the firewall by me, and what I was doing was threading these nuts on, and I would tighten the nuts on all the way and get this foam to get some memory on it, the seal. Then we back it off and we fiddle with it a little bit more, and then I tighten them again. You don't want to tighten these too much, but just tighten them enough, and that holds, believe me, actually holds the whole thing whole assembly in place. So that's the best way to do it. You need two guys to do it. So there's some stuff on here I just can't do myself. And just that's just the way it is. So you know Barracuda Buzz can't be doing everything by himself. Even though I'm trying. So there's a whole nother side and that is the driver's side. So we'll show you how that drop down vent works and what we are going to do to install that. All right, now we are on the driver's side. There's a piece of pad, okay, that gets glued up the same process. Spray the back side, the black is left out, and you spray both sides and on there, and that goes just around this part to keep some of that noise out. And then, of course, this insulation padding goes on too. And if you can see here, it goes around that brake, uh, emergency brake, uh, parking brake, uh, um, actual thing. It has a hole cut out, square hole cut out for it. And you can see that it came out through there. You'll drop that parking brake assembly down so you can fit this padding in. And then there's one, there's actually two clips that go in here. Now the reason why this is taped is because we drilled out the hole too big because this was hand fabricated. So we just got it taped. We just got it taped here a little bit um, to hold it in place. Uh, and we uh, set it with uh, caulk. So when it dries up, it'll stay. But the main thing is, is it's held together by one, uh, two pins and that's what we got in there. Now this box, has three of them nuts, not four, but three that go on. All this does is this push up, once it's pushed up, you tighten these up to the body and that presses the seal in, which is a seal on there as well. And that's it. Before you do this, you gotta push the, pull this parking brake system back into place. Once you do that, then you can put this on, and of course this lever is for this as well. And you can see the, the rubber seal on there, how it is on there and everything. And uh, that gets uh, just uh, seals up and works properly with the pulley cables that go along and run along in here. After you put the dashboard in. So that's the way it looks. The heater core, heater box, uh, ve ventilation system uh, is installed in the CUDA. Sorry I couldn't videotape this one, it's a first, but guess what? Well, besides the gas tank, uh, pushing the gas tank up, but Hopefully you got a little bit out of this one, uh, at least a little bit of knowledge, and uh, stay tuned for the next video, and just keep on watching Buzz Jones on my YouTube, and uh, if you don't subscribe, subscribe, 
and you can check out my videos if you're a CUDA or a Mopar enthusiast because you'll be getting uh, uh, the whole assembly of this car as it goes on filmed. And if you're on Facebook, you watch it. Hopefully it's enough fucking entertainment for you!